Today, I'll be unlocking every skill on the Mammoth Fruit on a brand new level 1 account without ever leaving the first seat. Truly experience what it would feel like using the strongest fruit in the game in the weakest seat. Uh, no offense to all you noobs who are still stuck in the first seat. Alright, so here we are on our brand new level 1 account I just created. The name is Noob with Mammoth. So, yeah, my creativity is through the roof today. Uh, but as you can see here, all I have is the combat. I don't have the mammoth fruit. Let's check if it's in stock. Mammoth, mammoth, mammoth. Out of stock. So the bad news is it's not in stock. The good news is, even if it was, I wouldn't have the money to be able to afford it anyway. I declare... Bankruptcy! But as you can see here, um, all I have is combat. I don't have the mammoth fruit. So how do we get one? Definitely not by spinning from the scam fruits gacha because I tried that and failed. All right, who can we beg here? Let's see. Oh, there's somebody who can beg. This guy looks like the original blocks fruit. This guy flying on an Emirates jet? Holy, you're balling. You got money for mammoth fruit? Please mammoth fruit. I beg. Okay, he's AFK. All right, these guys look like they're beggable, whatever that means. <laughs> Please, Mammoth. Please, Mammoth. I feel like everybody's ignoring me. Is this what usually happens when y'all beg for fruits? Doesn't feel very good. I am a famous YouTuber. My name is Kid Gaming. Please, Mammoth. Prove it? What do you want to know? <laughs> Bring your account. He's onto me, guys. He's onto me. I'm leaving. <laughs> I have no idea how the hell I thought that was going to work. Obviously, we're not going to be able to beg for a mammoth fruit. It's also not in stock. So the only way for us to get one at level 1 uh, is to buy it with Robux. Ah, yes, our good old friend Pay to Win. It never fails us. And while we're paying to win, why don't we just go ahead and give ourselves a 2 times mastery. Just to make our lives a little bit easier. And by the way, if you're also a fellow Pay to Winner, don't forget to use star code NU when you've stolen your mom's credit card to buy some Robux. Thanks for the support, mom. All right, now that we got the Mammoth fruit, we got two times mastery. Uh, let's go ahead and grind. Wait, I'm hoping this thing has an M1. It does not, bro. This is about to be a nightmare. <laughs> I've not used the Mammoth Fruit at all, guys. Not even once, so forgive me. I have no idea how to use this thing. I don't know what the moves are. I'm seeing it for the first time ever. Okay, here we go. Ancient Cutter. Woo! So here's the strategy with our stats, everybody. I'm going to distribute it evenly on melee, defense, and blocks fruit. So, 6-6-6. Six, six, six. Yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? Yep, yep, there we go. Look at that. Level 10, just like that. 8 mastery. Super easy, guys. Super easy. Wait, I totally forgot. I should be flexing on these noobs. The fact that I'm only level 10 with a mammoth fruit. Level 10 with a mammoth fruit. How y'all noobs feel about that, huh? Wow. Okay, the theme of today uh, is being ignored. Uh, this guy said a kid with no parents. They're going to get the milk. They're coming right back, okay? It's just, it's very, very far away. It takes years. Bro, I thought they were gonna add M1 to more fruits. What happened to that? Blocks fruits broke their promise to me. I can't grind like this. I, I'm grinding like a peasant. I'm using combat. No Logia, no M1. This is actually gonna be a tough grind. And while I'm doing all of that painful grinding, I wanted to quickly interrupt this video uh, with some good news uh, to talk about my brand new Roblox game that I'm working on. Yeah, that's right. If you're an OG on the channel, then you would know that your boy is dropping a Roblox game of his own. Uh, it is an anime-themed game influenced by Bomberman, a very old but classic arcade game. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Please tell me the name. Don't worry, I got you. Anime Bombers. Very creative, I know. It is a PvP battle arena game uh, where you can duke it out with other players while playing as your favorite anime character. I mean, what's not to love about that? I mean, just look at how nice this Goku model is. So the game is almost finished. It's going to be dropping very soon. So if you want to keep up with the latest news, uh, which you absolutely should, be sure to follow us on Twitter, join the Discord server, join the Roblox group. I also created a YouTube channel for this. It's called Nakama Project. So be sure to also subscribe to that. We'll be dropping some sneak peeks, trailers, all that good stuff. I'm going to be putting all of those links down in the description below. So go ahead and pause the video, join all of our socials, and uh, let's see how much progress we made on the grind. All right, uh, I think we gotta kill the Gorilla King next. Here we go! Oh my god. 
The revenge of Harambe. <laughs> He's too powerful. Hey, finally, on to the next island. Oh my god. Bro, these things are strong as hell. Yo, the, their health is barely going down. <laughs> what? Now, mind you, I'm getting slashed like four times. Four times at once, so... That's also uh, making me die much faster. It's not because I'm a noob. It's definitely not that reason. Oh, come on. Ugh, not having the Logi effect is so hard. Oh, come on! Damn it! Fight! Brother, did you not see me struggle to damage those pirates? You literally just killed them all after I died? What is wrong with you, you sick? Okay, you know what? I'm raging. I'm having a hard time. I'm raging. I shouldn't be raging. But what is this guy doing here? Oh wait, is he actually uh, is he actually lowering them for me? This is who actually felt sorry for his terrible deeds. This is the first time. I got you, homie. Is he helping me grind? Hey yo, Terry seven two five six. Let's go, MVP of this video. Let's go. Yo, shout out Terry, man. What a sweet soul. I thought he was gonna be. Just another But well, he turned out to be the not too bad of a guy. Come on. I'll die. Yes. Bobby! Okay, you guys might be wondering why I'm so excited to be fighting Bobby right now. It's because I have a trick of killing Bobby to be able to get a lot of mastery uh, quite easily. I lifted this idea from the homie Sizzle from Family Friendly since he's abandoned Blocks Fruits. Basically, yeah, you get the boss down here. Make him go from behind the stairs and you just stand up here to punch him. And unless he's using his skill, he can't really hit you. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only time you're gonna get damage is when he's using his skill. But when he's just slashing, you're invincible. Here we go. See, just like that. Easy. Okay, we earn no mastery. <laughs> really? No mastery? Okay, we're gonna move on to the new quest. Forget this place. Okay, so we made it on the desert island. Uh, or, you know, just gonna be doing more quests. I'm just gonna speed run the next part a little bit. And we'll, we'll see you back when we hit true prehistoric punt. <laughs> That's a mouthful. It's not the false prehistoric punt. It's the true one. Remember that, guys. All right, speed run time. Let's go. And we're getting two levels. We got true, pr pr true prehistoric. Excuse me, as I am a little exhausted and I can't pronounce my words properly. Oh, I forgot I have this new move. Hold on. I haven't even used this yet. Hey, yo. Get punted to hell, idiots. Now that I have two skills unlocked, it should be a lot easier for me to mob these enemies. Let's put that theory to the test. So we're going to inch and cut these fools. Then we're going to true prehistoric punt these fools. Damn, get punted. Oh, <laughs> yo, they landed so perfectly. So now that our double XP has run out, I mean, we do have a couple of more codes that we can use, but I want to try another strategy where you're supposedly able to get a lot of mastery very fast. So this is the strategy. Behind me is the galley pirate, and apparently if I... Okay, well, let me finish talking first. Take number two. Behind me is the galley pirate, and apparently if I stand behind this uh, tiny little thin wall between us and just continuously hit him, uh, he actually cannot damage me. But the only problem is when he uses his skill, that's when I do get hurt. Now, let's see how much mastery this can actually give. I'm not very hopeful. All right, I think we do this now. And with this, four master. Okay, I'm not so sure if this is worth it, but let's just try it again. I am smarter this time. I got my auto clicker. I don't even have to do anything. Let's go. Four more mastery. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't really think this is worth it. I'd rather be grinding levels while doing it. Uh, let's just go back. All right, back at this place. If I had three moves on the Mammoth Fruit, I think the grind would be very, very easy. Just the three. But that is absolutely a lot to ask for. Even with two times mastery, guys, by the way. I just want to point that out. That's how difficult this is. So while I was dying of boredom grinding just now, I came up with a very brilliant idea. Actually, it's, it's not that smart. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. So I invited these peasants... <coughs> 
I mean, uh, friends from my Discord server. Uh, they're all max level and they're pretty much just gonna lower the NPC's health and I'm gonna kill them and take the credit and mastery. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go. Oh, brother. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, yo, let's go. Work for me. Do my dirty deeds for me. Yes, get it lower. Let's go. Come on. The grind. The grind is real. Grinding in blocks roots has never been more fun. And don't worry, guys. I'm not going to do this until I get to 300 mastery because uh, that would be cheating. And uh, I'm only going to cheat a little bit. Not the whole time. I'm only going to do this until I get to 100 mastery uh, to unlock the third move to make the grinding much, much easier. Hey, 100 mastery. We got the Colossal Crusher. Let's just get one more kill. Why not? We're here already. Colossal Crusher. Damn, bro, still alive? Damn, bro, still alive? Ha! Bro is still alive? We found the strongest NPC in all of Blocks Roots. Okay, now all, all of you died. All of you. Okay, now with three moves unlocked, I am at the Snow Island where I should be doing my quest. But before I do, let's go ahead and learn some abilities from uh, Rayleigh from Wish over here. I would definitely need Aura. Aura is very important. We're gonna buy that. And uh, let's go with Air Jump. It's only 10,000. Pocket change. Oh, it feels so good to be able to jump so high. So exhilarating. And we got Hockey, which should make our punches a little more powerful, I think. Okay, hopefully the Snow Bend is a little bit easier. I'll just chill out here until we move on to the next island. Wow, dude. Actually, yeah. Grinding here is much, much easier. So it's like 1 a.m. for me. I could barely keep my eyes open. Uh, I'm gonna go to sleep, but I wanna keep the grind going. So I'm gonna ask the peasants, <coughs> sorry, I mean friends from my Discord server to log into this account and grind for me overnight. And I'm gonna take over when I wake up. Let's see what mastery they can help us get to. The next day. All right, so it is now the next morning. I'm just about to log into the account and let's see how much progress they've made. Bruh. Are these guys trolling me? They gotta do exactly 199 mastery and couldn't take it to 200. But you know what? That's a lot of progress. That's almost like 100 mastery. So we're about to unlock the stampede move and we're well on our way to our transformation. It's good to be back at Sky Island. Yeah, let's go. The stampede. How does this work? Damn, okay. This skill also does... It's also an attack move. F move should really be a, like a mobility skill. But it looks like I can also attack with it. That's good. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Obliterated. Let's go. So I'm just gonna take my time and grind like this for the next little bit. Spare you guys the excruciating details. Let's see what mastery I can conjure up in the next 50 minutes or so. So after a bit more excruciating grinding, um, I feel like taking a shortcut again. So we're back at Fountain Island with my friends from Discord. And uh, I'm just gonna spawn Frankie a bunch of times with however much Robux I have left and see where that takes us in terms of mastery. All right, so they're gonna damage Frankie until he's uh, on the brink of death. And I'm gonna swoop in and take the mastery just like we've done previously. So I'm just gonna like, you know what? I'll just attack Frankie along with them. And hopefully that should be enough. Hey, hey! Yeah, there you go. See, I got two mastery for all that work. Maybe it's faster to just keep doing these NPCs. I feel like it's going to be faster. Oh, yeah. Help me. This is the power of Nakama. Together, we're unstoppable. There you go. There's one mastery just like that. This is so much faster. Oh, I'm having the time of my life right now. Who knew Blocks Roots was this fun? Now, no longer being sarcastic, this is actually some exciting Blocks Roots gameplay. Don't y'all agree? This fast-paced, action-packed, mastery grinding on the mammoth fruit. This is what everybody came to see. This is what Update 20 is all about. Get hyped. All right, guys, in almost no time, we got to 290 mastery. Only 10 left to go before we get the transformation. And just to demonstrate to y'all how fast this is actually going, because I've been grinding mastery at Llama before, and this is probably just like just as fast. So I know a lot of you guys sitting at home are going to be like, oh, pay to win, YouTuber privilege. Yeah, exactly. 
I fully embrace it. But you wanna know what is real YouTuber privilege? Getting literal admin powers from the owners themselves. Now that is a level of privilege even I couldn't experience. Ah, oh, let's go! Actually, wait, what sounds do mammoths make? Wow, that was the longest burp I ever heard in my life. All right, here we go, everybody. You're about to witness the first ever mammoth transformation. Uh, nobody has ever unlocked this move. Let's check YouTube here. Yeah, yeah, definitely nobody has used the mammoth fruit yet. All right, here we go. Okay, that was the laggiest transformation I've probably ever seen. But yeah, here we go. Uh, this is my first time using the mammoth fruit transformation, by the way. Okay, yes, we got the M1. This is fantastic. Now we're about to get on some rail grinding, baby. Oh my... Bro, what the hell? This thing is actually so intimidating. Let's test out this fruit. See how good it is for actually uh, farming NPCs. All right, so I think you could... Apparently, you could hold the F move based on my uh, me watching the sh uh, showcase. Yep, there it is. Look at this, bro. It's a literal bulldozer. Does it not stop? This game is a cheat code. Did the developers consider this when they were making this fruit? Okay, I know getting the transformation is tough, but after unlocking the transformation, this could be the best food for grinding NPCs. Look at this, they can't even fight back. There's nothing they could do about this. Oh, you could dash with this. Oh my God. It's a flying mammoth, boys. What happens when you land? <laughs> Yo, can you land on enemies? This is the new kilo fruit, guys. You thought they took the kilo fruit away? Watch this 10-ton kilo drop. Hey, there we go. Yeah, let's just do a quick showcase of the skills. I mean, you probably already seen them before, but here we go. Ancient Cutter. So it's got five blades instead of three. True prehistoric punt. Yeet! The Colossal Crusher. Let's crush them. Let's get crushed. Okay, do I take damage in the water? Okay, I do. Oh my god. Mammoths can't swim. Noted. And of course, uh, you guys already saw the Stampede. So obviously, guys, my next course of action is to take this newfound ancient power that I have and uh, go to public servers and just bully noobs. Sounds like fun? All right. So I'm just going to server hop here and find people at uh, Coliseum who are supposed to be around the same level as me and uh, see how easy it would be for me to just decimate my opposition. Oh, yes. I have found a couple of victims. Let's go, baby. I had no idea what's about to come to them. Ah! Domination! Don't mess with the mammoth! Oh my god, what the hell? Okay, that guy's got the midnight blade. He's gotta be like max level or something. <laughs> I picked a wrong fight. Now, if they were around my level, you guys knew what was about to happen to them. Squashed. All right, here we go. Here's a noob with a bully. Let's go, boys. My man's just having a good... What? Did he just get two-shotted? Hey, yo, Bloxfoods, patch this game, man. You gotta nerf the mammoth. This is not okay. All right, who the hell is this? If he's AFK, his thing must be disabled. Oh, no, never mind. His PV is enabled. Fight back, boy. Ah, oh, air battle. No, God. <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible person. Aha, uh -huh. look who we have here. Victim number three. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, do we even need to continue? I think I've proven that this is like the strongest fruit in the game right now. That's just not fair. All right, so maybe picking on somebody my own size isn't the right way to go about using the mammoth fruit. Maybe we gotta pick on somebody bigger than me. Figuratively speaking, because mammoth is like, it's like the biggest fruit in the game. But somebody who's higher level than me. Like this idiot right here. Where's this fool? I swear to God, no. Get him, bro. No reward, level difference is too high. This guy's level is so much higher than me and still got bodied. All right, this dude's enabling PVP. He wants the beef. We're in too small of a space to battle it out, though. All right, I'm coming out here. You want to fight me? You better come out here, boy. Oh, I got him out. I got him out. Another light user, bro. Got to teach these light users a lesson. Oh, let's go. Hey. <laughs> Mammoth for the win. 